Hey, this is Mad Hatter. I'm here to give you a bit of an update on Structura. I have been uh, putting in a couple of features that were requested by the community, and I wanted to get uh, give you a preview of those as the uh, update is rolling out. So first off, I made it possible, not required, but possible, that you can select your structure based upon the armor stand name. This is thanks to a couple of the uh, community members who pointed out there is actually a query I can use to get the name tags to work. Uh, this particular structure is one I used on stream with my brother. Um, we built a witch hut and he does not play much Minecraft, so building a witch hut was a teaching experience for him. So I had the R44 sp uh, sphere so we could check that in the, from the AFK spot. There was no caves around, even though I was pretty sure there wouldn't be. Um, we had all of the blocks that we had to place and break uh, laid out, how to make the room dark laid out. Uh, all of that sort of stuff was there for him. How to do the uh, the platform, the trident killer, all those sort of things were there. And yes, I am aware the, let me put it back. The torches don't work as expected right now. I need to fix that. That's going to be a future update. I likely won't do a video on it. Just check back in and do uh, some looking for the latest release. But right now what you can see is I have three armor stands here. None of them show up. I have the witch hut uh, design. I have the R44. And I have a item sorter. Uh, wait, an item sorter. And they all do work. You can have all three of them in the same world at the same time. Um, they all have different offsets, if you've noticed. So the witch hut is set up so that when you place it in the witch spawning spot, it builds an entire farm around the spawning spot. R44 is set up so that you can have, from an AFK position, the spawning sphere set up. You don't have to do any math anymore for that one. And then the sorter is kind of just in the default position because my thoughts are that you would move it around. So this is, we're gonna get into how to, how to do that, how to set them up uh, in just a little bit. So let's leave this world. And now it looks pretty similar. I do support a mode where you just grab your, uh, your structure and you type in a name and you generate a pack. And when you do that, it doesn't actually generate a, uh, a crazy complex set of packs. It just generates a pack so that only the unnamed armor stands will have your structure on it and the named ones won't. So if you just want to get through the cheap way and not have to attach name tags to your armor stand, that's still supported. But if you want, you can go to advanced mode and this gives you some more options. So here you have offsets and you can put in, you know, minus 50 blocks so that the, the bottom block in the, uh, in the structure will be 50 blocks below the feet of the armor stand. You can add some offsets to X and Y. The transparency, you can now set your transparency level. So if you want it to be completely solid blocks, you can set it here. If you want it to be completely invisible, you can set it there. Although I don't think that's very useful, but uh, it defaults to what it was originally at, the 20%. You can now add a name, name tag here. So if I do which hut, and that is case sensitive. Um, it now adds this witch farm structure as a witch hut. If I browse and I make R44, which was actually D89 in this case, I can do R44. And this one, well, 44, I would want an offset of minus 44, which means the uh, armor stand is 44 blocks above the bottom of the model. And I hit add model. Um, there was a call, a number of people that called out, you can do uh, structure, uh, structure exports up to 256 in the Y direction. That is true, 
but you're going to need an offset and really only 128 blocks will render 64 blocks up and 64 blocks down. This is due to a hard coded entity rendering radius of about 70 ish blocks. Um, so you can do 70 straight above the, the armor stand or, you know, when you get to the side, it de-renders a little bit sooner. So, uh, Practically, 64 is about as big as you can go on the Y above or below, but you can use these offsets to kind of tweak that. Um, that actually does have a bit of a problem if you, right now, I'll fix that before launching. So first, I have to give it a pack name and hit make pack. And now I have a test pack in my folder so test back and it does give you a text file with name tags i'm going to leave this in you can copy out your name tags and make sure you get your case sensitivity correctly in the future i might add it to the names in the description so if you lose this text file or if you distribute don't distribute the text file you can actually uh, get that but it's not in the current release so now the simple export so if you go to browse you get your test structure that you want to build uh, to bring in we're going to bring in benchy and you type in a pack name, simple, and you just hit export or make pack. Hit make pack. It will now go through and make you a pack. I already have one loaded for the simple packs. I'm going to just attach it to this world so I can show you how it works. So the way simple mode works is the, when you place an armor stand, it's on there. And when you name tag it, it's off. This is a bit cheaper to use in your uh, survival worlds, but it is, it is limited to one stand, one model per armor stand. If that makes sense. So you can use the simple mode, you can use the, the advanced mode, whatever makes sense to for your project and your build. But I think that's all I have for today. So this is Mad Hatter, and I'm out. Bye!